the Section 9 champ Marlboro and Section 1 champ Lords in the Class B state quarterfinals. The fans were ready to go, and so were the Warriors. Right out of the gate, Dean Roger to Luke Tim for a 32-yard score, and Lords is up a quick 7-0 in the first quarter. In the second quarter, Roger throws another beauty, this time to Devin Bauer, a 10-yarder. That made it 14-0 Lords. Marlboro couldn't seem to get anything going. An attempt for at least a three-pointer failed when 6'4 Alan Rappelier blocked it. But suddenly, a momentum shift came over Deet Stadium and you could see it coming like a freight train. Marlboro quarterback Ray Pacella broke the ice with a 15-yard TD run. And then, there was no stopping the Iron Dukes. Pacella connects with Harry St. John. And just before the half ended, Marlboro had tied it up at 14. In the second half, Ryan Tambori got in the mix. With a one-yard plunge, it was 21-14. In fact, there was no stopping Tambori, who picked up 175 yards and had three touchdowns. Marlboro had scored 31 unanswered points, making that 14-0 Lords lead look like a distant memory. The Warriors woke up in the fourth quarter when Roger connects with Sean Curtis for the biggest yardage in the second half. And then hit Billy Wagner to make it a 10-point game. But time was the enemy. And even with less than one minute remaining, Tambori makes it look that easy and scores one more time for good measure. Marlboro wins the Class B state quarterfinals, 38-21 the final. You go up 14 and then 31 unanswered points, what happened there? Well, we had a couple of turnovers. Um, but to their credit, you know, they, uh, you know, they came back and made some big plays. You know, they're a very good football team, very explosive team. I knew that coming in. And, uh, you know, we knew when we went up 14, we knew we had to keep, you know, we had to keep scoring. And, uh, you know, a number of times we, you know, we had the kid in the backfield. He broke tackles and, uh, you know, that's what happens. We're very passionate for it, just like the second half here. First half, Lords was Lords was kicking kicking us right in the butt all the whole first half, and then second half we had the passion and dug deep. It was just a great. Um, <laughs> it was just uh, we just yeah the tough losses in the beginning. We had a hard schedule, but overall I think that really helped us with uh, the games that we played, and then we played up and up and up, and uh, now we just have confidence all year and just went past it and said, all right, let's get this next game. This, to me, looked like a microcosm of your season. The way it started off, you know, you're down 14 nothing, you're in a hole, and then you guys storm back, just like you did the entire season. Yeah, you know, hats off to the kids and their parents. Um, you know, they got a lot of character, and everyone kept their composure. You know, one of our mottos is to 40, play 48 plus minutes. We always told them, you know, thrive and survive. Thrive on a competition, see if you can survive in the end, and that's what they did.